Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I want to show you a quick tip on how to use the importer to help you with batch data entry. This is for GiftWorks 2010 users who want to be able to do some additional batch entry that perhaps the smart entry functionality that's included in GiftWorks um, either doesn't support or perhaps you just feel more comfortable doing some batch data entry in something like uh, Microsoft Excel. And so, uh, there's a way that you can do this, and if I sign in, let me just really quick highlight the smart entry. If you're if you're doing batch data entry, and you go under additional settings and tools, you're going to see manage smart entry pages. Well, we certainly want to encourage everyone to first and foremost try to use smart entry to import your information or to enter batch data into uh, into GiftWorks. If the if that doesn't work, or like I said, you feel more comfortable using Microsoft Excel, you might be able to use this little this quick little trick. If I go to a smart list. And in my database right now, I have two donors, Dave and Steve. And let me just look at one of them. I, look, I have Steve in here. Steve has some basic information like an address, um, some name information, and he has no donations. So let's just say I need to or like to um, enter some information for my donors. And so I'm going to go to a smart list, and I'm going to view the all donors smart list. One of the things I can do is I can export this smart list to a Microsoft Excel document. And once I um, export this list to a Microsoft Excel document, I could make changes to it, or I can, um, uh, I can uh, make additions to it to be able to uh, quickly import some information into GiftWorks. Now, wh one of the things I'll need to do to start this is I'm going to first customize this list, and I'm going to check on the ID column right at the beginning. What this does is this includes the donor ID or the GiftWorks assigned donor ID so that when I export this list to my Microsoft Excel document, I'm actually going to be able to um, uh, use this ID at a later time to make sure that I update all my donors properly. So once I do that, I can go ahead and export this list. Now, I could also customize the columns to export any of the information that's here so that I could actually use it to update GiftWorks. Now, I have a limited set of data that I'm using here. And I'm going to export this list, and I'm going to export it. I'm just going to call it my export, and click on finish. Now I've exported this document, and very specifically made sure I included the donor ID column. Now I'm going to open this up in Excel. Let me so let me open up Excel, and I'm going, to, I'm going to open up my export. One of the things I'm going to do first is, and I've talked about it in a prior video, is I'm going to clear the formats. Of this document, let's just make sure that that just makes sure is that none of the formatting, the coloring, or whatnot interferes with my Excel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to expand some of this, and I am going to add some other information. So I'm going to do I'm just going to add a donation date, a donation amount, and I'm going to add a um, I'm going to add an address. Uh, no, I'll add a email address just as maybe another email address. And so what I'm going to do is I have a phone column, donation date, donation amount, email address. I'm going to go ahead and now, now that I have this document uh, available, you notice I have some of the basic donor information. I could use this Excel spreadsheet to do a call if I want to do a um, create call sheets or give this to people, maybe a call team that was going to go ahead and call through all my donors to, to verify that we have the latest information or maybe just use this as a, in a call-a-thon to, to track donation information. Perhaps I had a bunch of people working and not everyone could use GiftWorks. I could simply give them an, an Excel spreadsheet with this information, allow them to go in, and I'm going to just enter some basic phone number information. Put a donation date, 11109, and I'll put an amount of $100 in, an email address, steve at mr.com. I'm going to turn it into turn it into a hyperlink, and I'm going to put it, this one in as well, 1313. I'm going to say 11209, donation amount $200, and dave at mr.com. And so, Oops. So what I have is this information, and I can then go ahead and once I save this now, uh, so I have I've exported a document. I made sure I uh, exported a smart list. I made sure I include the donor ID. I've, I'm at appending or adding some information to this Excel document, so that now I can go ahead back to GiftWorks, and I'm going to go ahead in settings. I'm going to go to database and maintenance, import and export data, import a file. I'm going to go find my import file, my my export. 
that now I'm going to be using as an import. And you notice I, I see this other information that I want to bring into Giftworks. I'm going to click on Next. One of the key things I want to make sure I do is down here, I want to choose the fields. Because I'm using Giftworks 2010, I have access to this option. I'm going to choose my import field, which is ID, which does match up to the Giftworks donor ID. So I want to make sure I match those together. And then I'm going to simply say, ignore the row of import data. I, I, I'm expecting that every one of these donors will have a match. Click on Next. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I can ignore this ID. I can ignore the display. I'm only going to map the information that I want to add, which is the phone. So I'm going to go down to Donor Phone. And I'm going to say, go to Phone Number. I'll just say Home Phone. I'm going to say Donation 1 Date, Donation 1 Amount. And then I'm going to add also add an email address. And go on email. I'm going to say email address one. And so now simply, um, I've, because I've set up my Excel spreadsheet, I've chosen to, um, chosen to update existing donors based on the donor ID that I exported earlier. I, and I've mapped some new fields. I can then go ahead and test this import. Complete the import. It looks slightly cryptic because I don't have donor names. I just have their IDs. Click on Done. Go back to my donor dashboard. Now I can see Steve. Uh, he ha has his email address. The phone number has been added. And I have a donation for Steve. So you'll see. And then I have also the information for Dave as well. And so you'll see I, I I've used an exported smart list in combination with the new features that's available within the GiftWorks import process, that is the, um, updating existing donors based on the donor ID. I combine them two to build myself somewhat of a batch entry that if some reason the smart entry pages of GiftWorks 2010 don't, don't uh, suffice, that I've built my own. And uh, I can, uh, I can, there's a number of things you can do. You could design your export. You can design call sheets or however you want to do it. You could export this to Microsoft Access or, or at least ep export it to Excel, then import it in Access to if you felt more comfortable using it in Access. So there's a number of different ways that you could do it. And then guarantee that when you import it back into Giftworks, you're going to be updating the correct donor. So that's a little tip on uh, how you can use some of the features that we have in Giftworks together to accomplish some of the things you may need to do as part of your mission. So thanks for watching.